Okay guys, welcome to part two of keyboard shortcuts. Now we've done Q, W, E and A. Now we've got S and D, which we should assign to commonly used shortcuts. And let's have a look at timelines. So we've got, let's go across to our ceremony. So I'm gonna link clips. Now I wanna basically get these clips to be synchronized. What I recommend is have S as synchronize. Now Da Vinci will go through, try its best to synchronize these audio clips. And it's done it. Fantastic. It doesn't always work if you've got cameras that are picking up different noises. You may have to go manually look through the waveforms to match them up. So yeah, synchronize is quite often used. Let's have a look, keyboard customization, type in synchronize. And actually, it's not called synchronize here, it's called auto align clips. And guys, that's why I'm going through the names because it can be quite difficult to set up the shortcuts if you don't know the names of these. And it that's confused me when I was setting these up. So synchronize is called auto align clips. And we do based on waveform and change that to, I recommend S for synchronize. We use it quite a lot but you can change it to something else if you like. Don't forget to delete any other instances of that particular button if it's used somewhere else. Close. All right, so now they're synchronized. And guys, what if we wanna delete the space between a couple of clips? Well, let's select them and I suggest a shortcut for D, delete gaps. Let's have a look in keyboard shortcuts, search, delete gaps. See, it appears under edit, delete gaps, change the keystroke to D or something else if you prefer. Okay, so, Something that we need to use all the time is undo. And for me, I've changed that to Z. I think by default it's Control Z and obviously we're used to using Control Z a lot with Windows and other software programs, but because I use it so much, I just remove the control and it's just Z. So find keyboard shortcuts. This one is just called undo. And there we go. So I've put it as Z. If it's confusing for you, you can use control Z. That's absolutely fine. I use control Z to redo. So it's backwards, but because I'm using Z more often, well, because I'm using undo more often, I kept that as just C and I've put control Z as redo. So let's have a look, keyboard customization, redo. There we go. So if you wanna change that to anything you like, please go ahead. All right, guys, so let's head back to timeline one. And now all my clips are in slow motion, but what if I wanted to put it back to normal speed? Well, that would be changing the rate. So I've got R to change clip speed. I could change that to 400. And I might wanna hit ripple timeline. That will bring everything back without leaving a space, hit change. So now I'm back to full speed. So, keyboard customization. 
This one is called Change Clip Speed. So I've put R. If you want to do something else, please go ahead. OK, guys, so copy and paste is obviously super important. Um, for me, I've taken out the control element and I'm just using C and V, which are kind of Windows default uh, commands. So for copy, I press C. For paste, I press V. If you want to change it, let's go to keyboard customization. Hit in here, copy. And it's cut timeline, copy. So control C, still valid. And C, I've put just to save a split second and a finger stroke. And paste. I've got V. I've put paste as just V. So C for copy, V for paste. Um, if you accidentally click something up here, like the razor tool, and you want to switch back, I've used control V to switch back to the button. So I hope that's not too confusing for you guys. Feel free to change that around if you really want control V to be paste. And guys, one super important function is to be able to paste into a timeline, but push out the clip so it's a non-destructive paste. Say I want to copy this bit and I want to put it here, but I don't want to obliterate the clips in front like it would. If I press control shift V, then it just pushes it in. And this is called paste insert guys. So keyboard customization, paste insert. There we go. Edit, edit timeline, both control shift and V for paste insert. And feel free to change that guys if you want. All right guys, so that's enough for part two. Have a break there, have a little practice with these. And then in part three, we're gonna look at more keyboard shortcuts that are less often used, but still necessary to know.